Japan's organized crime groups, aka the Yakuza, are still big business. The National Police Agency estimates that they still collect 5% of all revenue from construction work. Yakuza front companies are involved in waste disposal, entertainment and labor dispatch. They operate both legitimate and illegal businesses. Now one group is considering going into the private security racket. The Yamaguchi Gumi, still Japan's largest organized crime group, was founded in 1915 and after 100 years in business split apart on August 27, 2015, into two groups, the original organization, and the Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi. This April, there was a third split, with Yoshinori Oda, an underboss of the Kobe Yamaguchi Gumi, creating the Ninkyo, Dantai, Yamaguchi Gumi or loosely translated, the humanitarian Yamaguchi Gumi. His new group with its low association fees is drawing recruits from all over the underworld. Japan currently has over 22 designated separate organized crime groups with office buildings, corporate logos, Daiwian and some even have pension plans. They are collectively referred to as the Yakuza. The groups are regulated by Japanese law but not banned. What makes the new group so different is that the leader Oda want to break free from the anti-social practices and illegal activities of the past. According to an interview published in the weekly magazine, Flash, he wants to use his fearless Yakuza soldiers as real soldiers Yakuza mercenaries and or security police who can protect Japanese citizens working overseas. He feels the Yakuza must go legit to survive. The loyalty, fearlessness and legendary toughness of the Yakuza makes this seem like a plausible idea. Traditional Yakuza are heavily tattooed in a painful process using an awl and ink that scars the skin so badly that the old name of tattoos in the Yakuza world is, gammon, woman meaning, endurance. Before the invention of the electric needle, the more densely tattooed a Yakuza was, the more it showed he could endure great pain. Also, when a Yakuza failed in his duties or one of his subordinates failed, they would chop off part of their finger and offer it up in atonement. In short, the old-school Yakuza are tough dudes. The groups are structured like tall male families, with the Oyabun, father figure, at the top and the Koban, child figures, swearing absolute allegiance to him and their older brothers, even at the cost of their own life. This Spartan and almost military structure would seem to make them the ideal private security force. However, experts on Japanese organized crime are less than enthused by this idea. They won't do anything that seems like real work. They lack discipline. A former Marine colonel with extensive time in Japan working in the corporate security sector had an even dimmer view of the Yakuza private army plan. Do business with the Yakuza and they'll always come along someday with a business offer you would rather not do, he said, 